uh, Wiggins or Bielitsa, there's what's their status? They're both out. Is this just kind of like a, a bug that's going around the team? I mean, it's, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Everything's been non COVID, though, right? Yeah, everything's not non COVID. Steve, you've had uh, three games to look at uh, James in the G League. What are your thoughts? Well, the main thing is he's uh, he's healthy and he's moving well. You know, that's the biggest thing. So um, that was our biggest concern going in was just, um, you know, can, uh, can he build the momentum and uh, sustain it and continue to work on his conditioning and his timing? And so far, so good. So, um, yeah, I'm happy to see him out there. So what do you want to see from him the next few days? Just got to keep working and uh, keep building his conditioning. You know, he gets he gets tired, uh, you know, during his runs. And, and if he can sustain um, the energy during his runs and the focus, um, that will that would probably be a result of better conditioning. And it's all to be expected, though, especially as a big guy, you know, not playing for a year. Um, so we'll uh, – He's going to keep playing, and, and we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. How would you describe the team mindset right now, coming off the game against the Wizards? Draymond back. How's everyone feeling mentally, emotionally? Yeah, good. Everybody's uh, feeling like you know things have turned in a positive direction after the recent uh, kind of slump or whatever you want to call it. And uh, getting Draymond back was a big boost, but um, we really want to have everybody back. And so um, until we get our whole team back together, it's tough to really figure everything out. But um, in general, the mood is good. Steve Draymond said that he expects his minutes to go up soon and he's eager to kind of push himself a little more. What? How do you balance that in, in the coming games? And he also noted that he gets his rhythm from from passing and that that pass to Steph for the three, 11 seconds onto the floor really kind of did something for him mm-hmm. to, to put him in the right place. Did you sense that as well? Yeah, he loves to orchestrate the offense and generate shots for uh, Steph and Clay and the other guys. So um, he got that uh, going right away. And, um, you know, as far as the minutes, um, the, he'll, he'll be bumped up. I think 24 is the number today. So, you know, slowly but surely we'll – They'll continue to climb, and um, hopefully within a couple of weeks he'll be at his uh, full full amount. Is he coming off the bench again tonight? Yeah. Who is the same starting lineup as the other night, too? Trying to remember who started uh, the other night. Uh, Kaminga and Jordan. Jordan. I'm not going to – I will not announce my starting lineup tonight. Raymond will have it for you later. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kind of a, a funny one, but he's Draymond said that it's it was fun to come off the bench because uh, he got the whole crowd into it, and he he told Clay he should have done that back when when Clay returned. Was that was that ever really even um, discussed with Clay back then? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I don't remember having that conversation. Yeah. But that that moment, I mean, could you sense? A little bit for Draymond, what that moment meant when when the crowd went wild at the 450 mark there. Yeah, yeah, he was excited. You could see it in his face how excited he was to be back. And uh, you know, with the dead ball, and he you know runs to the scorers table, that everybody could see it coming and feel it, and um, it was exciting. Steve, you mentioned it a little bit, but uh, Steph had 41 points in the 15 minutes that he was on the floor with Draymond. I mean, even as a scorer yourself, how incredible is that? Is it, and is it just a matter of chemistry? Uh, it is a matter of chemistry. Those two guys are um, just brilliant together. Uh, they know each other so well from playing together for so long. And, um, you know, they, they, they just work well in terms of getting each other open. You know, if people are double teaming Steph, he finds Draymond in the pocket and Draymond is freed up to make plays. And, and uh, Draymond's a great screener, uh, great passer. So he's constantly getting Steph open as well. So great to have that combination back. And then what have you seen from, oh, the Celtics team, sorry. Uh, the Celtics team as of late, very different from the one you saw earlier this season. Yeah, they're really clicking now uh, great defensively. When we saw them, they were without Horford. I think he was injured that game. So, um, 
you know, they're healthy. Uh, they added Derek White, and their defense has been uh, really, really good. I think number one in the league over the last couple of months. So it's a big athletic team. They've given us problems over the years uh, with that size and athleticism at every position, very physical. So we're going to have to play uh, play a really good game to win. As Draymond has approached his return, you were kind of expressing caution about him not being able to solve everything and there'd be a lot of other things. Where, what are the other things that, what are you seeing now? It's only been one game with Draymond, but what are the things that you wanted to, that you talked about when you said there are other issues we need to take care of? Uh, transition defense, um, backdoor cuts, boxing out, uh, all related to, you know, we always talk about the shell having to be tight. Um, it's the most important thing defensively is you got to have a tight shell. And uh, even with Draymond back the other night, we had uh, – a lot of mistakes where our shell just opened up and people got right to the rim for layups and, and dunks. So we've got to get better with that. So it's mostly defense. Yeah. Thanks.